Uh, the United States, I want you to know, is praying and grieving with you for the loved ones of those who have been very cruelly taken from us, including Americans, and for the many who were injured in these despicable attacks. We will not be intimidated. We will not be deterred. And we will come back with greater resolve, with greater strength, and we will not rest until we have eliminated your nihilistic beliefs and cowardice from the face of this earth. Daesh has claimed responsibilities for these attacks, but there is not a government on earth that supports the terrorists of Daesh, not one. The very reason that Daesh is resorting to actions outside of the Middle East is that its fantasy of a caliphate is collapsing before their eyes. Its territory is shrinking every day. Its leaders are being decimated. Its revenue sources are dwindling. And its fighters are fleeing. Mr. Prime Minister, your nation has suffered a cruel and unfair tragedy this week. People are hurt. But we are all of us going to help. No act of terror can undermine the foundation of our friendship or the values that define our alliance. Our fundamental openness, tolerance, and diversity, our pursuit of justice, our dedication to preserving the blessings of freedom for ourselves, our children, and generations to come.